Hey there, I'm Lauren Newell and I am here in my storage closet, our pretty much only storage, and I wanted to tell you about a decluttering method that I stumbled across yesterday. The method is bin downsizing and I didn't even realize I was doing it. Here's what I did. So up here in our storage, I had bins and bins and bins, a lot of these bins, the big clear tote. I don't even know what size these are, uh, but they're from Target, so they're they're just the, the standard, I don't know if it's 55 quarts or, or something like that. A lot of things I have in these. This is what we do our memory boxes in, and I have had clothes, and I had just all sorts of things. So I had fabric for sewing in one of them that like this. I wanted to downsize it. I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm not using it. What can I do? Well, what if I could get this into a bin this size. Again, another Target bin, room essentials. Um, not sure how big, but significantly smaller, right? So I have a bunch of this size. And so I was like, well, my goal is to get my fabric from this to this. And I was successful. So I downsized from that giant tote to this tote and got rid of over half. I would say I got rid of about 75%, maybe 60%. I don't know, but something like that. It was over half of that bin is now in this. So then I moved on to other things in the room, my office supplies. So I had excess office supplies in a bin this size. And I was like, well, what if I could go from this size to shoebox size? And I did. So all of my excess office supplies now fit in shoebox size. So we went from this to this. And I don't know that it's necessarily 50% exactly. Maybe it's more like downsized to like 30%. I don't know. But still significantly different. I then did the same thing with my aromatherapy tools. I went from a giant big tote down to one of these medium sized totes. And I did the same thing. I went from a big giant tote down to a medium tote with my envelopes and mailing supplies. So it may not seem like much, but if you can, if you must keep something in a storage area that's in a bin or a tote, think about whether you can downsize it. Maybe you can get rid of a third of what's in the bin or half of what's in the bin if you can't get rid of the whole bin. I did get rid of several bins that were everything in them went, but I did the same thing with, um, Easter eggs. We had Easter eggs in this medium size and I went down to a shoebox size. Not everybody keeps Easter eggs around. I know my kids really love them. So for this season, we keep a few around year round, but this is my goal. I'm looking around the house. I'm looking at bins and baskets and saying, can I make this smaller? Can I get rid of it entirely? But if I can't get rid of it entirely, can I at least get it into a smaller bin? It will not only just clear up space in your house. It will help just to remove that footprint of clutter. And I highly recommend that you give it a try. And if you're struggling to get that space fast, this is a great way to dig in, get rid of stuff, and also still keep what you love. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried the bin downsizing method. <laughs> Happy decluttering, and I'll see you next time. Bye.